Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please like and subscribe, I'm Dr. Alessandro. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking with you about gingivitis, which is inflammation and infection of the gums. So that's the first step or stage in gum disease. So what we see here, for example, I'm gonna use this model to help us out. What we see here is the gums that are pink. So pink gums that are what we call stippled. They have little tiny, you can almost call them mini pockets in them that we can see with our eyes, naked eyes sometimes and sometimes with our loops. Um, we like to see the pink, healthy, tight, firm gums, um, which show a sign of health. Now what happens is if say food gets trapped in between the teeth because maybe you forget to floss for three or four days, um, or maybe you haven't been brushing the best and, and so you've been missing along the gum line in certain spots, the gums tend to get a little bit more red, puffy, swollen, and they even start to bleed. So that is a sign of gingivitis. So that is the inflammation of the gums, which is the first step in gum disease. Now, gingivitis is reversible. That is, if you start cleaning again, you can once again get this red and inflamed tissue back to the pink and healthy tissue. But that means you have to be more diligent about your brushing and flossing. So what's happening? Why is the gum turning red or irritated? So what's happening on a microscopic level is that the food that you eat, that we all eat, uh, tends to pile up and bacteria tend to start eating the food. Now the bacteria in this case, they're specific more to the gums, they tend to then pile up and secrete toxins into the gum tissue. Our, our white blood cells are great and they're floating around our bodies everywhere. They'll detect the toxins and then they immediately issue an immune response. What that does is that it calls more white blood cells to the area to start to fight off these bacterial toxins. So you end up getting this red irritated tissue because the white blood cells are initiating an inflammatory response to the bacteria and their toxins. So while that's happening, everything kind of gets red, swollen, and even starts to bleed. And, and that is what's happening in gingivitis. Now, I'll go on to the further stages of gum disease in the future because there are, and they progressively get worse. But for now, we'll stay with that. And my recommendation, you know, whenever you see gingivitis, there's some bleeding in the gums, I do want you to attack it. That is, I want you to keep brushing. I don't want you to stop brushing. A lot of people actually stop brushing and flossing thinking that they might do more harm than good when they do that. That's actually false. What you want to do is keep brushing gently. You don't have to go crazy. Keep brushing gently. Keep flossing. You don't have to, again, don't have to go crazy. You don't have to slam the floss through. Uh, don't have to have the water flosser in the high setting. As long as you're getting in there to clean everything out, you know, the gingivitis should reverse. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for joining me and I hope you're staying well and healthy.